In this tutorial, we're going to see how to search in Google to find a copyright free image. So here in up in my Google window, I'm going to search for sharks. And if you notice, there's 89 million results with just that search. So I'm going to go to the cog over there and click advanced search. I can fill in a lot of different areas, but the one I'm specifically looking for is the usage rights that's typically at the bottom. I want to click free to use or share. That way I'm only going to look at the free ones that I'm allowed to use. And you see it cut down the search results quite a bit, only 76, 762,000. But they're all labeled for reuse, so any any images I see here, I should be able to use for free if I give credit to the people who took them. So I'm just going to search for just a shark image that I might use in my project, and I found one. He looks mean, so I'm going to copy the picture on my computer. I'm right-clicking on the mouse and saving image as. I think on a PC, it's save picture as. Then you save it on a folder on your desktop or in your H drive or wherever. But the other thing you have to be sure to do is save the website for the image <clears throat> where you actually got the image from so that you can give rights to that um, whoever took that picture. And you see right there there's a Creative Commons license which means this person is giving rights to me and anyone else to use that picture as long as I cite where I got it from. So here's the, the link to the site where I found the shark picture. So then what I would do always is have my students have a document open on the desktop where they're collecting their attributions, their um, their citations for each of the pictures and any of the media that they're using. So I started, I titled it here, Attributions, and the first picture is the mean shark picture. He looks kind of scary, so that's how I labeled that. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the URL there. And that way I know that that is um, the link so that I can cite the picture on my project. I'll have them make the list of each of their, um, whoops, each of their pieces of media that they develop and that they find and that they want to use and then whether they're using a Glogster or if they're using um, a, a creating a website using Google Sites or if they're using uh, a Storybird or if they're using anything uh, where they're using this picture then they can on the last page or somewhere within the um, the presentation they can show that where they received each of those pictures from.
So that is how you find a picture through the advanced search to be able to find one you can use for free.